hey guys welcome to another video in the previous video we can submit our form and it can reach our controller and in the controller we have just written the data and the in store method written request so when we post something from here let's say post title and put some content we submit the post we just get the raw data return to us but here there is a problem that we only get the title post title not the post content uh, there might be a problem in our form that with the name attribute or something else so we have the x input post title and the name is clear so it is we get the data in the controller but with the text area here we have the name columns and again name. oh uh, this is the problem and this might be the problem so we should have one name attribute at least and not more than that the name is post content let's save it and let's refresh in the browser again we did not get let's go back refresh and here let's see another point post title and another post content okay that's fine ah uh, yeah this time we got so now very first thing is the validation that our uh, post must be validated and the wrong or false data should not enter our database so sorry the validations may be in two forms the first one is uh, client side uh, validation uh, the other one is the server side validation which laravel provides a very powerful way to validate our data and recheck the data that we get from the user in order to uh, in order to secure the consistency and the security of our uh, website web application or database so uh, i just put required here that i want to be sure that the post title should not be null because i have not given it as nullable in our database maybe we can find it in our migration create post table and here title is not nullable so the title must be in but the content which is a long text it is nullable maybe you just uh, skip the content and uh, the database migration or database schema accepts this one so the that's okay for the front end and let's go now to the uh, post controller here we get the request to store our data so before storing the data we have to validate uh, whatever we get from user and there are uh, um, there are powerful ways to validate uh, let me uh, guide you through documentation so here we have the valid documentation the validation uh, section and the very uh, basic form of validation is to just write our rules and apply these rules on the uh, request that we get so we just write validate and just inside it write the rules for example let's say here we got the title the title is required if someone skips the um, client side uh, validation then it will they, they will not be able to skip the uh, uh, what we say a backend or the controllers uh, validation and it has it has to be unique the title of the post then it has to be maximum 255 characters and then for the body or for post content it is also required it is according to documentation validation let me show you why we do the server side validation as well that is because the front end validation is somehow skippable uh, as uh, as you know we just uh, wrote the required attribute on the post title now if i don't write anything it will ask for the post title but it is skippable uh, i can just go inspect and while inspecting i'll just find this field here and remove this required attribute from here now it is not required so it's just submitted and null and uh, that is why that we need to uh, make sure that uh, we have two factor uh, validations now coming to hope you understand that now coming to our uh, validation server side validation 
so we have the basic very basic structure is that, that we have to uh, validate our request and then store it in a uh, variable this is the very simple way okay so let's go and write our rules here let's say first uh, valid equals now we'll just write the request and validate here inside this one we have to write our rules the he first here we should write the rules according to the name that we submit from the form here we have post title and then we have to write post title here as well and for type post title we have will have such rules like it is required it is required uh, then a pipeline according to our documentation that it should be unique where inside the posts not other tables this is the table and the other value is maximum should be like 100 words 100 characters not than 100 characters for the title and the comma and for the second one our second uh, well uh, input name is post content and for that uh, actually i don't want to write anything else so i don't want to validate that one but we could say that minimum for the post content should be uh, 20 20 at least 20 someone should write there it is not required but if someone writes anything that that should be uh, 20 okay now we can actually uh, before just uh, going to store it in a in database we can pass this validate return this validate valid uh, to see how can we uh, how we get the result of our validation coming here let's refresh now if you write some post title and post it okay we get uh, an error like this column not found why we have no we are not uh, just storing data to find any column but i think this problem might be from this section of our validation that we have said that the post title should be unique inside the posts table but while the name that we have given to our input uh, input uh, uh, which is post title and the name in our migration is only title so these two differs that is why we get those errors uh, let's change one of them uh, i'll go inside the form and change the post title to just title and again come to the post controller and just change one this as well as to title so now it can find the title it can get the title uh, from here search it in our post uh, posts table and uh, will validate for us whether that is unique or not so and that was the only uh, mistake i think so let's go back refresh and come here let's write some post title then leave the content as it is we get errors i think that that was not true that's why so uh, it is returning us to this is the beauty of validation of laravel when you get error we automatically will be redirected to our view or uh, post so let's say right here the post title and uh, two uh, 20 words to our post content and submit so it will uh, return the data to us then because i just return the validated data from here uh, now time to show the errors if the validation goes wrong so what uh, how should we know that validation is uh, not correct here inside the validation if we come under that portions we have the uh, uh, displaying the validation errors here a section and here we can uh, on our blade we can just show if there is any error uh, you have loop through errors and list all the errors for us so let's go to our form section here and i'll 
I will show up just right above the form and if uh, and it will pass the errors uh, uh, array so that's why if errors any if there's any error so and if this is how we write the condition if there is any error, any error do this one what uh, now we'll just loop for yeah, for each errors get all errors is error and and for each and for each we can use a ul to or list uh, the errors so i'll i'll use a ul and list and write it inside just the list echo it here add error sorry error let's save it and see what we get over here so if something goes wrong here post a title let's say and we did not write anything inside post content and let's submit it oh we did not get any error here why we go and now post title and there's the error here you go. the post content must be at least 20 characters so this is the error which is returned so now it's fine now time to uh, save time to save the validated data after the validation we will get here and the flow will will reach this section so here automatically we can just um, uh, write our contents so how to save data that's very easy we just say post defining our variable to store the result actually post post and create inside the create let's create a method and uh, for the title which is this title is inside the uh, migration inside our migration here you go or inside our table so for that just store the data which is coming from the request so we just say request and the title take the title and store it here for the content which is in database and just get the post content from my for post content and the third one is remaining that user id which user is just posting this one so for that we can just get the user data um, actually the concept is that with the user which is uh, authenticated right now and which is uh, which has access to this files actually that user is writing the post so mm, and that way we can just use the auth helper and get the user data auth user and the id let's see if i'm not wrong and we get this one here so this will be stored and uh, then we can just return to our uh, previous view or the tour post view return redirect let's say to posts or post let's save it and check now if we could store the data a test post with some content more than 20 characters let's submit it okay we got an error that post is not found that is because we have not uh, imported the use uh, the post model here so we'll say app slash models slash post we access the model here but did not pass it to our control just save the file and come into browser let's refresh it not found post not found let me just like post i think okay now let's go to database and see if we got the first post yeah we got the first post
and one thing more is remaining i think that is when we write new post if we get an error the fields which we have already filled should be in their own place and only the fields which is having errors should be uh, like uh, empty of that so if i write the post title correctly and my content is having some error so the post title should not be removed from here that is how can we do that inside our form section inside our form we can just come to our input and here inside the value we can just uh, type something like this hold upload method and we submitted via title name so old title and the same thing here for our text area if it is having an error or not it should populate the uh, 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 content that we previously uh, posted inside so let's save it and check what we get let's refresh now uh, just posting something and it is less than 20 pixel or, uh, sorry 20 it is less than 20 characters but a we, we repopulating the form is repopulating and though it is having errors the content must be 20 but we have the previous less than 20 character co contents as well hope you get something and it was not confusing uh, thank you very much for this video if you like this video kindly share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much